What's going on guys? My name is Violent. Welcome to Grizz Zombies. Today I got an amazing video, sort of a revelation, happening with all of the Black Ops Zombies storyline. Today, we're going to be talking about Samantha all grown up into Misty. That's right. So if you go on to learn something today, drop a like on this video. I got a ton of information I'm going to hit you with. And subscribe. Let me know in the comment section if you're new. If anything here sparks an idea, I really want to know your ideas. Hit me up over on Twitter, at GrizzViolent. It's the best place to keep talking zombies. The storyline I show you as proof today is based from a concept that Black Ops Amazing made. Will the transit crew be returning in Black Ops 4? This is a response video to that. It will be linked down in the description box below if you want to check that out as well, in addition to what I'm going to present to you today. We're talking about Samantha. And the reason is because this might be the key to all the unanswered questions that we have about Misty. Why she remembers Rustman before Green Run. This is undefined. Misty says when she picks up a monkey bomb that she remembers that she had it as a pet when she was a little girl. Or how about the time she pack-a-punched on Green Run she mentions that she forgets what her mother looks like. These are all qualities that Samantha would have as well. We know that on every timeline each Earth would have a moon, even the empty Earth. The gate to Agartha is on Earth, but the gate to the Dark Aether is in the MPD, and that's how we get to Dimension 63. There is a teleport anomaly that sparks after Buried, but it all starts on transit with the three spires that need to be active. This is how you get one of the endings to the Super Easter Egg in Black Ops 2. And Maxis ultimately wins it, and we'll go into that a little bit later, but there are three spires, so we have to go to three different maps. Transit, Die Rise, and Buried. And Misty was along for the ride the entire time. Now where this gets really interesting and juicy is when Rick Toffin decides to bring them to Dimension 63, and that's the conclusion to the comic book, number six. It's when they get brought into Alcatraz by the Grandmaster Rick Toffin, and that's where we see a difference in the storyline change from Black Ops 2 to Origins, which sparks Black Ops 3, and that's why we see all of the original Black Ops maps primarily in Black Ops 3, because where we go into Black Ops 4, it's going to focus on where the comic was at in Black Ops 2, taking that into consideration with the new timeline. From what we learned in the comic, number 6, and what Black Ops Amazing did say in his video, our new characters were put into a stasis in the suspension machines where they're going to be used for a greater purpose. I'm hoping to define why Misty is of most importance. It began long ago, on the battlefields of the Great War. Two German scientists sought to harness dark and mysterious forces buried for centuries. They believed their discoveries would assure Germany's ultimate victory. What they could never have imagined was just what else their research would unearth. My name is Samantha. I'm going to tell you how all this really began. We have a timeline, a timeline that deals with Black Ops 3, and that is a timeline that we want to talk about because Origins is the start of that, and Misty somehow knows the weasel, okay? She does have quotes, ones that are from Transit when she's getting electrocuted, and then she accidentally states weasel at the end of quite a few of them. So let's have a listen to those audio files so you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Standing on end here, son of a bitch, lightning face zap weasel, son of a lightning face zap weasel. Go on, run home to mama, you electrified zap weasel. So we have a direct connection straight from Transit, the game files, which definitely correlates to the ending of comic book number six, where the entire Transit crew, including Misty, gets put in suspension devices by the Grandmaster Richtofen. What can I say, Dempsey? Things change. Only a fool would dare to change history. I am no fool. What I do, I do only to secure a better tomorrow. Yeah, well, let's see if we live to see. We know the events of Black Ops 3 and how it ended in Revelations. Our Black Ops 3 crew becomes the premise crew, but where we're going right now is back to Buried. The third spire needs to be activated and this is to fulfill Maxis's plan. As you guys know, we had our first super easter egg in Black Ops where we would collect the golden rod and the focusing stone, bring it to Moon in order to blow up the Earth. We had our second major super easter egg here in Black Ops 2 Zombies 
where you would have to do the main easter eggs for Transit, Die Rise, and Buried a certain way in order to get a Maxis ending or a Richthofen ending here on Buried. It all took place and ended on Buried, and this is where Comic Book 6 actually begins. It's after Buried. Let me read the description to you. Join Stuhlinger, Misty, Russman, and Marlton as they fight for survival against the Undead Horde. The Transit crew, last seen in the Buried map, are trapped in a deeply unstable and fractured future Earth. The Call of Duty Zombies miniseries dives into these characters' backstories, providing a crucial piece to the zombies puzzle. See what happens between the maps as the transit crew fights to escape Maxis's apocalyptic wasteland. So it looks like Maxis won after all. We're following the Maxis ending. So here's the situation. After the transit crew remains victorious, they stand tall after completing Maxis's side of the Easter egg. An anomaly happens. We've seen this before. If you remember the teleport from transit to die rise, die rise to buried, it's the same thing. It's called a transdimensional aperture. We'll talk about that later. It's teleporting. But my man Wasu came at me and said that Samantha's been counting her headshots. And he maybe thinks that's because of the power up. She's counting. You can see that at the beginning of the comic. She even states, you know, if you got 274 headshots in a row, I'd be impressed. So she's keeping count. And this can mean that she might be Samantha and knows when power-ups are going to be dropping. So she's counting in her head so that way she knows when it's going to happen. So if Samantha did grow up to become Misty, I do think this is a very huge indicator. Which brings us in to where the comic actually begins. And that starts in Broken Arrow where they need to collect some Element 115. I'm just going to do a quick rundown here. I'm not going to read it page by page. This is an entire summary. Now, teleporting. Bring teleporters out of nowhere. This is called a transdimensional aperture, and it's stated there in the comics, so that is what we're going to refer to as, as every single random teleporter that's in this game. But that teleport brings us to zero base, where we're going to actually apply the 115 to these blood machines. And what's important about this is the only description given is, as I was saying, this device seems designed for the element we found and appears to need four living humans to activate, which is not, I believe, a coincidence. This would be a hint towards four player co-op being part of the easter egg that they're trying to solve. And we see this throughout the entire comic, it's like one big easter egg being solved the entire time. So what we're seeing here is another teleporter, and that teleporter does take, draws blood from them, and that's what shoots them off, I don't know what it requires for four players, and, but where we're going is Empty Earth, and this is a facility that Maxis built that houses the Cronorium. So this is where the Cronorium is, and the funny thing about this is after they get it, it sounds the alarms, they try to teleport back, but they can't. They can't get back to zero base, and they're left in this situation of panic, but the zombie Richtofen takes advantage of this while they're trying to survive and escape, he takes the blood vials and captures it, and he's going to give it to the Grandmaster Richtofen, who's at play right here. So that's an entire overview of all six comics, and how the blood vials were collected from the Transit crew, and ultimately given to our Black Ops 3 crew at the time of Zetsubu no Shima at the end easter egg during that teleport. But, during the last few pages, we have a very important moment between the Grandmaster Richtofen and Misty. And Wasu brought this up to me also in the DMs, and he says, Sammy, it's me, Edward. And that's when Wasu said, Misty is Sam. So I took a look at this, and yeah, she's the only one that responds to Richtofen actually saying Sammy. And she goes, Sammy? And that's where I got the indication that maybe she's Samantha, and Edward Richtofen recognizes her. So there you have it, fellas. There's hard actual proof in the actual comic that Edward Richtofen is referring to Misty as Sammy. And what does that mean? Does that mean that she is the grown-up version of Samantha in the Black Ops 2 storyline? And why in the game files of Transit are there actual quotes from Misty remembering Weasel? As she's getting electrocuted, she's tweaking it out of her, you know? She's just screaming Weasel at the end of things, and that's triggering memories. So that's very confusing to me. But ultimately, the greatest question of all is... Samantha actually Misty. This is the biggest mystery that I have from the comics as we move forward into Black Ops 4. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I'm sort of leaning toward this idea becoming true. The evidence is pointing towards it and until something else tells me otherwise, this is what I'm leaning towards guys. 
But I'll talk to you in the next video. Violin out.